I can't spin. It's not a spin chair. Hey Forum, my name is Manny, aka Cascade Sense. Welcome to another video, and this time I have Alex here yet again. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for having me back. Well, I'm glad to have you back, and I cannot wait to get your opinions on some of my winter fragrances that I'm wearing for winter 2020 to 2021. Perfect. Now we're ending this year on, I guess, an all right note. It's been kind of tough throughout 2020 to say the least, but I must say that the fragrances that I'm wearing definitely have put me in a state of yo this is something to look forward to into 2021 and i nonetheless hope you enjoy these yeah i mean i'm a winter fragrance queen pretty much 90 percent of my collection is heavy winter things and they are very comforting so i think we can use that right now and here you have no introduction that you really need to some of these scents i know you're gonna know some of them but nonetheless i am wearing them this winter so we'll see what i got okay all right, here we go with the first one then. And I believe you own this one, but forgive me if I'm wrong. Okay, so if I do own it, then I know what it is. Otherwise, I feel like there's some similar ones. This is Frankincense. I believe this is Comme des Garçons Avignon. <laughs> I know there's a lot of other similar incense fragrances, so let me assume I got that one right. But I love this one. I'm a big fan of frankincense, like burning frankincense. Um, I use the essential oil. I find that the quality that this one has is not so much a smoky frankincense, but for me, like the citrusy or like orange peel qualities that like unburned frankincense resin has or the essential oil. Like there's a Christmas to that. Christmas, yeah, sure. I thought you said Christmas. Um... <laughs> It's bright. It's not fresh, but it's bright. I love this one. Like this one, I, for some reason, really like, again, like an out of the shower scent. It has this quality in it that reminds me of vintage bath products. Oh. Yeah, those are always fun. They have this great like herbal balsamic quality mm -hmm. to it, so. So it doesn't smell like someone just died or anything like that? To be fair, I have not spent a lot of time in the Catholic church, but no, it doesn't give me that vibe. Okay. Maybe someone with different associations would, would feel that. Fair Reminds book. me a little bit of going to Ethiopian restaurants. Ah, all right. It's super nice. And out of 10. You know what? It's a classic incense. I think it's surprisingly versatile considering it's so like, one note. I'm gonna give it a nine. Okay. You might as well own it. So she's not wrong. She owns this. This is Avignon yeah. from Comme des Garçons. And of course, this is based on the religion of Catholicism. And gosh, is this stuff ever pretty. It doesn't smell like it's burning. And I think there's a common misconception when it comes to certain resins or incense, especially where it smells like it should be on fire. And I just don't think that's what this is. No, I don't get any smoke from it. So what can I say? It's an affordable incense from Comme des Garçons. Very picturesque stuff. It's nothing that's going to explode off your skin either. So if you're afraid of offending people with this, you probably have to spray a lot of it. But that's kind of why I like it in the winter because I feel like I can regulate this one easy as well. So it just depends where you stand. Avignon, nine out of 10. All right, moving on. Damn it, I think you'll know this one too. <laughs> you shouldn't get me in these. I just guess the fragrance. God. This smells like Angel Share, is it? I know this is supposed to be boozy. Like this is brandy. I'm not super boozy myself. So for me, this is more reminiscent of like a tobacco-y scent. Like I feel like if you like something like like Tobacco Vini or Ombre Narguile. Back to Black. Back to Black, yeah, of course. Like then you'd like this. Yeah, like it has that spice quality, like that warmth, that kind of honeyed dried fruit feeling. This one is like particularly sweet. And I know that when I smell it on others, like that, that part really projects. And I feel like you need to spray lightly with this one, but like super key winter vibes for this. Like this is super wintry. Like go outside and spray it on your coat and go to a winter market on a date with someone. Good Lord. After the pandemic. <laughs> yes, would be nice. And out of time. Okay, so this one I've struggled with, with people who have oversprayed, and it kind of turned me off to elements of it, but I think in the right doses, it's pretty amazing. I'm going to give it a 7.5 still. Okay, so the one we're talking about, of course, is Angel Share by Killian. She definitely nailed it again, but to be fair, I had you smell this, what, a few weeks back? Nonetheless, I'm actually wearing it for winter for the same reasons you said. Like, I think this would be a perfect night out scent to have you have the opportunity to go out. We're talking about oak barrels, we're talking about cognac, a little bit of tonka to set it off, furthermore intoxicating. I mean, it's really well done. Like he really took this genre to the to the end. Like, yep. and I think everyone wants a little booze and sugar for their winter depression. Boom. 
Yeah, no, and I definitely agree. So uh, for your winter depression, Angel <laughs> Share by Killian, 7.5. All right, next up, here we go. Okay, I don't know what this one is, but I'm getting like smooth kind of wood, probably sandalwood, maybe. It's one of those zen scents. If you're a monk that wears fragrance, this would be great for you. Yeah, I don't know, it's really smooth, it's really calming, and I don't know what else I'm picking up on besides the woods, but... Do you like it? Yeah, I like it a lot. I think this would be great on a guy. And for what reason? For what occasion? This could be every day, I think. Like, if you like a woody scent. I feel like this could go casual or formal. I don't really have a particular occasion for this one. I also think this would be just fine in the summer, honestly. Okay. Yeah, for All right. me. Uh, out of 10. I'm giving it a 7 because it's not exactly my genre, but it's really nice. Okay. So, not remotely your steez, but this one is Encre Noir Alex Threm from Lalique. Oh. Uh, classic glass maker, of course. I'm a big fan of this one just because it takes the classic Encre Noir vetiver inky dry down, uh -huh. adds a little bit of smoke to it, and it just, to me, is a worthy flanker. It's what a flanker should be, just because flankers typically just are packaged in a similar bottle to whatever the original is, and it's a completely different scent. Just trying to capitalize off of extra bottles for the company and or the name of that initial scent. Again, if you want cypress, if you want other dry woods, we're talking vetiver, we're talking cedar, things like that, mm -hmm. done in the most masculine way, but you want it even smokier, add a bit of incense, I think it's really pretty. Okay, so that was vetiver that I was getting. I don't wear it a ton. Like I enjoy the really smoky qualities of it. And like sometimes I use vetiver essential oil, which is like a really thick resin that's impossible to use. And it makes you smell like you've been like smoking yourself on a campfire for an hour, which I love. But yeah, it's really green and grassy and doesn't always fit my style, but good for the dudes. So there you go. Encre Noir, Alex Threm from La Week, seven out of 10. Moving on to the next one, here we go. I love that. <laughs> you love it? Yeah, there's a lot of pepper. I love pepper. Like, Damn it. I love a black pepper scent. Is it Poivre 23? Is it? I've sniffed that before. I mean, it's peppery. I, okay, I'm crazy about pepper though. <laughs> You're a spice girl. I am a spice girl. Mm. Yeah. And I want to see more pepper in feminine fragrances. Like pepper mixed with a floral, I think is gorgeous. Well, the pepper note itself is really fresh at the beginning and really like bracing and- It's there. It is there. And the base feels vanillic, ambery, maybe almost tobacco-y. For me, those are like kind of two things that I really like. And out of 10. I'm gonna give it a 9.5. Whoa! I really like this pepper. <laughs> I swear, she's gonna steal this bottle too. I think this one's hard to find too. Because you can only find this in one city in the world. We're talking London, England, UK. The city exclusive for that city. Poivre let, let us have it. City exclusives, typically brands don't always uphold the cachet for the city exclusives, but I think Lavabo does a good job of doing that and hyping it up furthermore by making these accessible once a year in the month of September everywhere else in the world, every other Lavabo account. Uh, and I think this is the best one perhaps. I feel like when it comes to vanillas, as far as dry vanillas, it's right up there with some of my other favorites, if not mm -hmm. is my favorite. When it comes to black pepper, it's definitely my favorite black yeah. pepper scent. Typically black pepper if it's done cheap and you know, more fresh spicy cologne scents, I really just can't handle, it just really hurts my nose. But when backed up with something warm, I just feel like this is nice. We're yeah. getting a little bit of labdanum, we're getting ambry notes, we're talking uh, really dry vanilla again. It's just, it's everything. It is everything. I think that is my favorite of the level that I've tried. And this is not a brand that you typically like? No, it's not my vibe. A little too snooty? A little too snooty. <laughs> wow, okay, interesting. So they really hooked me with the pepper. That's the thing, like, good product is good product, right? Yeah. Yeah, so nine and a half. The Labo Poivre Here we go with the second last one then. You're throwing me with this one. Mm. Like, what would you wear that for? Is it appropriate for winter, guy or girl? What's going on there? This leans feminine for me. It's definitely floral. I'm getting like tropical, almost banana vibes. I actually agree with that. Yeah, it's, it's like overripe fruity. I don't know if there's ylang ylang, maybe, but this was an interesting choice. You've been wearing this one? Yeah. Going around smelling like a banana? Sure. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, this one's unisex. I can definitely see this being worn in the summer because again, that fruity floral vibe and the tropical vibe. Summer nights, uh, it's, it's pretty like dense smelling. It's not light or fresh. Again, a pretty unique one. 
What is this? All right, out of ten. Um, seven for that one, I think. Okay. The one we're talking about is another flanker. This one is Black Orchid Parfum from Tom Ford. Oh. Yeah. So what this does differently is that it's a little less in your face with an orchid vibe. People are apprehensive of when it comes to Black Orchid Eau de Parfum, the initial Tom Ford scent period, is that despite the dry down that felt really comforting and friendly, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of patchouli, a mm. little bit of tubers in there. The opening was just a little bit too pungent with how floral it was in, again, a mysterious femme fatale kind of way. We're talking rose, we're talking orchid, and it just hit you super hard. What the Parfum does differently and what Parfums have been doing differently in other Parfum versions of other colognes or fragrances out there is that it just becomes a more dry down centered version. So while there are floral facets here or fruity floral facets, off skin I feel like it's going to mainly smell like the dry down that people knew and loved. And this one I just feel like, again, is easier to wear. But I get the chocolate and patchouli now that you say that. Yeah. I've never smelled any of the Black Orchid line. I've always really? wanted to. I know it's really, like, it's unique. I mean, it's sort of like a grandchild of Angel, I guess, in some ways. Mm, okay. Fruity, floral, patchouli, mm -hmm. little chocolatey. I could see why you'd say that. Mm. Seven out of ten. Black Orchid Parfum. All right, here we go with the last one to cap off this winter sniff. I like this. Really? And I'm trying to guess what it is. I guess I'm getting like boozy, woody rose. Like this is another jammy kind of rose. Like a rose jam, I guess, if that exists. It is fruity, but not in a fresh way. This is another good like right in the middle of masculine and feminine scent. Is that leaning formal? Is it leaning more upscale, casual? What's going on there? This is pretty formal to me. Like it's a pretty heavy, dense scent. Um, so either nighttime or, or more formal. Yeah, it is pretty dense and sweet. Okay, cool. Like you have to really chew through it, it feels like. Nice, all right, and out of 10. I might give it a 7.5. Feels like it could get cloying, but okay. it'd be really nice outside, like in super cold weather. Nice, nice. So the one we're talking about is actually Cambridge Club from the Join the Club collection from Zerzhoff, of course. Mm -hmm. And this is an exclusive to the Knightsbridge store. Of course, that's where it gets its name. Uh, Harvey Nichols. So uh, the desk there. So we're talking caramel. We're talking this bourbon vanilla. Things that you just want to consume. Always love, again, a sweet rose. One that isn't so just womanly, perhaps. So yeah, if you guys want Zerzhoff Cambridge from the Join the Club collection. All right, Forum, that about does it for us. Thank you, Alex, for doing this. You're very welcome. And of course, we have a winner this time in Poivre Ventois from the Lavo. I feel good about my choice. I feel good about your choice as well. Again, not cheap, perhaps the priciest scent on this <laughs> list, but nonetheless, one that I feel like is worth it given the cachet of exclusivity, given the fact that it smells darn good. This, a nice peppery, yummy, dry vanilla, in Poivre Ventois. Yeah, I mean, these are awesome top picks, but of course this one came out on top and we have some other ones here too. Hope you guys enjoyed our takes on these winter fragrances. If you guys would like as well, in the description below, you'll find my top 10 niche, my top 10 designer picks. If you guys want to perhaps let me know what you guys think there too. Otherwise, tell us in the comments what you guys think about this format. But I guess wrapping up now, I want to thank Alex again for doing this. Of course, I couldn't have done it without you. You could have rated them yourself. I could have, but I've already kind of done that. Thank you for having me on. Thank you, and you're welcome. And I guess we will see you the next time, hopefully. So also like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you have yet to, if you want to be inundated with more great content like this. But until then, be safe out there. Again, it's hard out here for a G right now. And I will see you later. My name is Manny. Where are your fragrances?